It's more than a decade after her death, but the story of Britain's Princess Diana seemed to entrance the world, but also became one of the saddest fairy tales. Her wedding to Charles, Prince of Wales, was indeed what little girls dream of. It took place at St. Paul's Cathedral in London in 1981, before three and a half thousand invited guests and an estimated one billion television viewers around the world. The Prince and Princess of Wales had two children, Prince William of Wales in 1982 and Prince Henry of Wales, known as Harry, in 84. Upon her marriage, Diana became Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales and was ranked as the third most senior royal woman in the United Kingdom after the Queen and the Queen Mother. Diana was an immediate hit with the public and royal followers everywhere. Her personal touch and warm personality were apparent during her many public engagements. Due to her charity work and humanitarian causes, she became known as the Queen of Hearts. But her increasingly demanding workload and sparkling public persona started to show some definite cracks. In the mid-1980s, Diana's marriage fell apart, an event at first suppressed, but then sensationalized by the world media. Both the Prince and Princess of Wales allegedly spoke to the press through friends, accusing each other of blame for the marriage's demise. Public opinion sided with Diana, she was seen as vulnerable and sensitive, helped largely by her campaigns against the use of landmines and helping the victims of AIDS. In 1987, the Princess of Wales was the first high-profile celebrity to be photographed knowingly touching a person infected with the HIV virus. It helped to change the public opinion of AIDS sufferers. Diana became an iconic presence on the world stage and was devoted to her pioneering charity work. Unfortunately, her philanthropic endeavors were often overshadowed by her scandal-plagued marriage and divorce from Prince Charles. But in the last years of her life, Diana had certainly become her own person, pursuing happiness in her private life and continuing her world-changing humanitarian projects. Diana's most widely publicized charity appearance was her visit to Angola in 1997, when she visited landmine survivors in hospitals, toured demining projects run by the Halo Trust, and attended mine awareness education classes. She is widely acclaimed for her influence on the signing of the Ottawa Treaty, which created an international ban on the use of anti-personnel landmines. In 1997, Diana was killed in a car accident in Paris along with her friend Dodi Al-Fayed and their driver Henri Paul. Fayed's bodyguard Trevor Reese jones is the only person who survived the wreckage. The death of the princess has been widely blamed on photographers allegedly hounding the princess and following her vehicle at high speed. Ever since, paparazzi has been associated with the death of Diana. Diana's death caused an outpouring of emotion and grief across Britain and then the world. On September 6, 1997, London took on a strange, still atmosphere as over a million mourners kept vigil along Diana's funeral route to Westminster Abbey. Some may say Diana was only famous for her designer dresses and her tabloid newspaper appearances but she also helped modernize the British monarchy. She challenged prejudices about AIDS and raised awareness of eating disorders. During her lifetime, she was often referred to as the most photographed person in the world. To her admirers, the Princess of Wales was a role model. After her death, she is remembered as somewhat of a saint.